Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> so, as a little surprise, when you're not in my Discord, if you want to join my Discord, put it now in, in the video description or in the stream description. Actually, um, there is the link. Start and we decided to try something new today, which yeah. we haven't tried before. Yeah. It's about time we try something new. Yep, and because we think we should do a s shorter series, because on the 8th of next month, the DLC will drop the next one, mm -hmm. and we definitely want to hop into this one immediately. Yeah, maybe even <clears throat> do the same what we're doing now. So, if you want to go ahead and tell the people what we're actually doing. Uh, okay, we are going to hop in a, a co-op game where we will play the same country. We mm -hmm. haven't done this before. With Ethiopia. Yes. Crypto thought it would be a fun idea to try to hold Ethiopia. Sorry for the late start. I had a problem with my uh, with my version of Hearts of Iron 4. I couldn't connect. It was an issue, so I had to reinstall the whole game. Yeah, which thankfully isn't, you know, any other game that we play, like Ark with 100 games. True. <laughs> <laughs> if it would have been a scheduled Ark stream, <laughs> that would have sucked. Um, yeah, well, postponed by 24 <laughs> hours due to downloading. Thank you. <laughs> <coughs> right, so I guess we can hop in and have a look around, right? See if it works. Yeah, let's see how it works. Like we said, we haven't ever done this before. Mm, not true. Going to be interesting. Oh, I actually have to do something with my sound options, I just realized, because I reinstalled the game. Oh, yeah. That's probably not a good thing. Well, you do. take your time. Yeah, we have to, still have to... Oh, no, I can do it actually in here. Awesome. Oh, yeah, that's actually safe. And start, and here we are. Completely uh, surrounded, in the middle of a war. Audio... No, actually, it saved everything. Just my mic was a bit too loud, man. Uh, my, my headset was a bit too loud. So, uh... What do you feel comfortable with, holding the north or holding this? Well, let's do the other stuff first. <laughs> okay. Let's let's start with national focus and have a look at there. We're playing road to fifty six, obviously. Otherwise, this wouldn't that that would be impossible to do. True. True. So, if you look at the focus tree, there is pretty much in the middle Christmas offensive, national mobilization. Yep. Which is seven days and twenty-one days. And then we go plea to the League of Nations. If you follow that down, the Ferengi uh. are we are we playing Star Trek here? Ferengi? Okay. <laughs> if you follow that down, um at the very end you have you can actually expand the Empire and in the middle there you get support from Germany and whatnot. Somewhere in there the war uh, will yeah. end by force. Yep. Yeah. Uh, a little to the right of that, defense of the homeland, secure the mountains, hold the line, secure the capital. That helps us hold, gives us land forts, takes away manpower, which we have in abundance, 165,000. Gorgeous. True. Yup. All of these require that we are at war with Italy, and Italy still exists, which isn't really that much of an issue, I believe. Probably um, not. I don't think Italy will go that fast. Yeah, but I think it's some, some route you do want to go down. Uh, there's recruitable population on the very left-hand side. Ironworks gives us iron. Yeah, there's resources coming in. What else do we have? Develop the Red Sea. It's naval dockyards, coastal forts, more yeah, coastal forts, more naval dockyards. Destroyers. Modernized Air Force. That all Some looks good. Is there anything for tanks? Uh, uh, no. Nope. So we have to do that manually. Yes, sir. There is a possible trick that I would like to try a little bit later. It's a freaking game exploit. If that works, we're going to crush everybody. <laughs> sure. We go for it. You know, I like my game exploits, especially True. when you're the underdog. I don't know. It might have been fixed in the road to 56. So that might be a thing where we say, okay, you know what? Let's save this thing here and let's try it. And if it doesn't work, we reload because otherwise we would be screwed royally. True, um, true. Yeah, so we'll have to see. So, so chat, chat is psyched. We are going to kill the pasta lovers and destroy Mario <laughs> loving scum. Sounds, Love you guys. <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm still recovering. Mostly. <laughs> well, so, yeah. That's the thing. So if we, if, if we manage to take all our uh, Italy completely in Africa, we will 
make peace anyways. Mm. If they don't yep. have any holdings, apparently. That's what the chat says. All right. Um, all right, all right. I would say you will be like the commander in chief, or the prime minister, or the general, or whatever. But it's kind of democratic. But I agree with you. We have to start with the Christmas offensive. Yes. Well, let's do that. Here we go. Yes. Wait, it's only seven days, so that's not much to worry about. Research tree. Yeah. Let's have a look at I that. Think... We, we ha already have a plus. 25% and a minus 5%. Okay, let's have a quick look at what we actually have here. Second Italo Ethiopian War. And that's the only thing it does for us. Minus 10% political power and plus 25% research time. This is a bollocks. Alright, so what do we have to do? Currently we have to hold the line, right? Yes, and I would say for that we should go for support weapons 1 and special, a specialist uh, sniper team 1. I, I think... think one. Well, support weapons one, yes, definitely. We're gonna get that. Okay. Well, you already clicked on it. Good. Yeah. <laughs> good. All right. Um, we could go specialized troops, but that takes too long. We have to actually, you know, build the troops and all that. So we're not gonna do that. Um, what else do we have? If we go ET and go sniper team, soft attack, reconnaissance for infantry, motorized magnets, that is not bad. Or we I, go with the clothing. I like the clothing better. Color. Okay, yeah. we go with the clothing then. I guess so. I already yeah, clicked on it. That. Cool. Very cool. So that's how that works. Um, that obviously leaves no options to buff our industry in any way. Uh, well, we will have a look at that in a second. Currently, let's have a look at the army. We are getting attacked by four divisions in the south and 14 in the north. That's great. You have five divisions in the south there. Let's make that one army. Ah, okay. I see, Steph. Thank you. Uh, sorry, I was reading check there. Um, so, yeah. I have just five, four divisions in the south at the moment. We have three elite troops which are stationed in the city. I'm going to make that an own army here. Don't I would say I take the units. five in the south at the moment. Yep. Well, they are already grouped up. Make Make them to me, my bitches. I'm gonna rename the theater here. Just that's mine. So yep, doing the same. Awesome. And uh, I, I guess so. Chat knows which guys... troops I control. Command. Uh, I have mostly. What is this province? It's like hilly plains, plains, that's plains. Right here. Plains, plains. Uh, there are a couple of mountainish stuff. So I would suggest I'll take the Desert Fox. Yeah, well, yeah, the Desert Fox would probably be the better commander for me. Yeah, I have the mountains because I up here. I don't have any hills or mountains by uh, by me, and I think the Homeland Security should get the Trickster, the level four general. Um, just on a first yeah, first look yeah. basis. Well. Reconnaissance doesn't do him much good, but it's a level 4, so it, it gives him, you know, 20% combat bonus instead of 15. And I guess we're going to use them somewhere to maybe push the <laughs> Italians out of the harbor. So, okay, chat lets me know the, the Italians actually have 14 divisions in the south. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not, not yet. Not, not uh, we can't see them yet, so that would yeah. be cheating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing they loaded up the game and checked it out. Oh, well, you know, it's a standard um, situation. The game hasn't progressed in any way yet, so I guess that, sure, sure. yeah, that's what you get. All right, I'm going to I'm gonna give them an attack order so they build a planning bonus in the north, but I'm not going to tell them to attack or anything. I'm going to put them on uh, carefully execute battle plans. Now let's have a look I at our equipment. Push for the harbor first. That will be my main goal so they don't have any hold landing. Yeah, for you it's pretty difficult because you will have to traverse at least two um, provinces to two get events. there and you might get cut yeah. off really, really easily. So, again, you probably should just hold. If you look at the strength of your troops, you're missing stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not not, yeah. not executing the plan. I just gave the plan yeah. bonus. Yeah, exactly. I, I do the same up north. Um, if we can cut <clears> them <throat> off from supply and starve them out, that would be perfect. Mm -hmm. Uh, let me check our material. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> We're missing infantry equipment. A little bit. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, so let's have a look at our supply situation. Reinforcements, what are we missing? 11 out of 120 infantry equipment. That's not much. True. But it is Could a bit. So what, what templates do we have? This is an 18 combat with elite division. And this is a 8 combat with army that we're dealing with here. Oh, that's perfect. So the regular troops we're having... Let's, let me change that, that one there. So the three skull divisions are in our capital, and the rest is just really, really crappy army. True. Yup. Okay, what do we have? We have two military factories, and they are making basic infantry equipment. I have five infantry divisions, and our infantry division combat with eight. Yeah, exactly. We are not right <laughs> out in the war, right? They still have to declare the war. No, yeah, we we're, are we're right in the war. <laughs> <laughs> the war started in 1935. True. Um, I think it's out of the question to build bunkers. Yeah, we have like one. Yeah, we have a focus item for that. We, we get to that if we can hold long enough. Our main issue is we don't have steel, which we need for production. We don't have factories. We don't have anything. Um, it's probably a good idea to start building some bunkers, because from that focus tree thing, where is it? Secure the mountains, add one land fort. So if that just adds another level, if you already have one, that gets cheaper for us, right? Mm -hmm, if it's true. level one is already built, level two is more expensive. So that might be a thing. It might just be that it gives you a level one top, and then we would have built it for nothing. But I think it is a good idea to, to try and build some. I just draw a fallback line. Um, yeah, it's not that far. Do you mind if I take one of the homeland security divisions capital to my so I have two, two divisions in each province? We will use those probably uh, dynamically. Uh, I, can okay. you, I can technically give you one more of my troops, but I guess I will have to filter mine in and out more often than you will. Because I have more uh, I, don't, right I, don't, I have never played with Utopia. I... Yeah. See, the thing is, you have a lot of planes down there, right? Yeah. Uh, so attacking in there and out there, um, there, there's pretty much no bonus or malus. But you can move back into the mountains, and then the attacking yeah, army will get Yeah, that's what I did. I, I draw a fallback line there. Yeah. And I will have to do the same. Yeah, I will have to hold in the mountains and make sure that they uh, well, starve themselves out, basically, and get attrition and Those then, are hills. I guess the hills can be held by one division. I probably should send this the hills division over are alive. here. Um, yeah, well, hopefully. I send this division over here, and this division should move over here. So well, let, let them do their thing. They should be able to do that. I mean, the AI is stupid, but not that stupid. So, I, I guess, for now, it's fine. Whenever Fresh. we are actually mm -hmm. getting attacked that much, that we do need assistance, we're going to take the home defense troops. Okay. Okay, I, can I guess that's that. what we do. Yeah. All right. So I, I am building some forts along okay. our main defensive lines right now. I'm not sure in the south if I should actually do that, or if I should just build them in the hills. Mm, that's we, a good question. We don't technically. Well, we have a 70% national unity, but the victory point that we have, our main city, is five points, and the city next to that is another point, so that's six. These provinces are what, like 0.25 or something? They don't count I as do much. Yeah, I don't think it's it's it makes any sense to start to build them south here. Well, we have to see. We have to let the game run to see if yeah. Uh, we only I'm have different. two civilian factories. This will take a while. Yeah, uh, the I just first checked. Four it, will uh, be done second of April. Twenty sixth, sixth of April. It's second of April, right? Yep. So at yeah. least this year, but yeah. Let's assign some more factories, even though we don't have them. What's the, the model? Just remember, if the province gets attacked, uh, the construction stops during that time. Yeah, well, we're not there yet, so... <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, but my, my thinking was maybe build it in, like, one province away from the front, so it actually gets built. Uh, because I'm guessing we will get attacked all the time. I'm thinking not necessarily all the time. We'll have to see. Um, do we want to build more troops? It's probably a good idea. On the other end, we still don't have any equipment. You were in God's ear. Holy, that helped. 
Let's do reinforcement first, upgrades last, and let's train... I don't know, let's train two units. And a maximum of six. What With what army and equipment do you want to train you? Well, if we have them to only train on medium priority, and we have reinforcements yeah, on high, we shouldn't have that's a true. big issue with that. I mean, they currently won't be able to do anything. Not enough manpower, not enough equipment, blah, blah, blah. We, we get there eventually. <laughs> True. All right. Uh, we are pretty much set in sufficient resources. Can't do anything about that. And we're at war with Italy with uh, up to 52 divisions. That's gorgeous. So what else do we have? We are on export focus and war economy. War economy is good. We don't have to change to that. We are already at war economy. I like that. For king and country. Um, yep, we are. We don't have any points to spend any. First thing I actually like. Um, I want to go to free trade as soon as we can, but we also need to make sure that we have everything else covered. So let's flip through the options here real quick. What do we have? Prince of Terror, Captain of Industry might help. Captain well, they, of Industry is good for building help. speed. Yeah, well, but actually, only civilian factory infrastructure. I was going to say, it doesn't yeah. help right now. Don't no. we have uh, military... Don't... Don't have the defense guy and don't have the war industrialist, so there's nothing there that really helps. But those two is what we are going to take, I'm pretty sure. There's nothing else. And the smooth talking charmer, because we don't need the other three. Mm -hmm. I think the first thing we should go for is military theorists, so we get the research time down and army experience gain goes up, so we can actually shuffle around our troops a little better. That's uh, not the high command. Where's the military theorist again? Research and production on the very right. Second row. Oh yeah, right, 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 right. right. Yep, yep. So that's one I of agree. the things. Or um, we go with the army regrouping expert in the military staff in high command. Well, which gives us plus 8% recovery rate. Th there's not an or here, that's both. We, we probably yeah, want yeah, yeah. both. But which one we go first? So, let's see, uh, Chief of Train Army, Organization rocks. or yeah. Defense. We're probably going to go de the Defense guy before we do the Organization guy. Yeah, uh, I would say so too. When we go on, on the attack, we can swap them out. I just realized the general I picked it looks like a 15-year-old boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's, don't look at our leader. <laughs> um, at least looks older. First thing we're probably <laughs> going to select is the military high command, the infantry expert, just mm -hmm. to get the 15% defense. Bonus. Yep. And there's another infantry expert, which we can't get yet. I don't know if those bonus stack. If somebody in the chat knows, let us know, because I never figured <laughs> that out. Steph, if we would be the Soviet Union, I would train them with potatoes to throw potatoes at grenades. Oh, then we have this whole national stuff thing that we're going to look into when we don't have anything else to do. Perfect. True. I think right. we should give it a try. Yeah. I mean, we've been at it for a while now. Let's go. And probably start again in about 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. So, let them let them run and regroup. Let's see what happens. Yeah. My troops are moving about. <clears throat> yeah, mine too. Oh, Italy has vacated this area. I'm taking it. Thank you. Screw you guys. This is... Oh, you're actually moving <clears throat> in there? Can I make that? Can I please make that? No, I cannot. Okay, aboard. Christmas offensive. Christmas Here offensive. we go. Oh, I actually have to stop the game manually. Look at that. National mobilization, I guess, is you know there, there's not much else we can do. We could go build military factories, but that still won't help. Uh, we don't need the black lines yet. Ironworks would be nice, but not yet. Army experiences. And we automatically get extensive conscription, which mm -hmm. I don't necessarily think we need just yet, but no, you know, if, we, really. if we get it for free and don't need to spend 150 political power, yeah, training time goes up, who cares. We have to go past that anyway. So or go see. Ironworks? Uh, it's too late anyways. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm getting attacked here quite severely. Ironworks, we would have gotten some iron. But... Yeah, well... Oh, they have air superiority in that region. I forgot that that is a thing. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna take the, the specialists and help out here real quick. Am I able to hold that? 
We estimate the battle will last another 62 days. That is really nice. <laughs> I have taken one province. <laughs> Gorgeous. We're gonna there. take a second one because they're not defending yet right now. This battle will last another 85 days. Cool. Yeah. That's good. That is good. If you could circle around and get that one unit encircled, that would be cool. At least can take, take, yeah, take that airport away from them. That's already a go. Counter-attacking in the north. Let's see if that helps. Probably will, actually. National mobilization! Stop the game. Alright, so yeah, we could go ironworks, but that's 70 days. <clears throat> yeah, 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 I just realized that afterwards. So if we get defense of the homeland, we get more national unity, division attack...